filling in for Lou Seipold, who has finally taken some days off. I picked a good day to be here. He doesn't like to do this. It's, it's that time of year when we start thinking about uh, fall in, in pumpkins and kettle corns and, and good uh, good things like that. Uncle Bill has joined us from Uncle Bill's farm and if you're not familiar with uh, Uncle Bill's farm it's over by Grinnell and, and I guess first of all tell us a bit about the farm. Uh, it, it's a uh, well earlier you were talking about the stereotypical farmer <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's kind of what we we strive to be because they're, they're no longer around. There, there is no stereotypical, stereotypical farmer anymore. Uh, and we try to, it's, it's somewhat educational, we try to, we have about 2,000 school children come through every year, and we give a presentation about how things grow on the farm, and we have animals, we have goats and chickens and all sorts of things that uh, the children can interact with, and then of course, we take them out to the field and they get a pick of the pumpkin. They they could care less about the little history lesson, and <laughs> <laughs> but, but they really enjoy the tractor ride out to the field and getting their own pumpkin. So do they do they get a uh, to uh, oh, milk a cow? And that's Gretchen. Yeah, that's Maisie, our cow. She uh, looks she very did, well behaved. She, she is. Cow. She's so docile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but and Gretchen, that, that's one of our uh, pet goats. Uh, Gretchen was. Uh, born last year and, and she was a mascot last year. My sister Jennifer raised her from a bottle. She had trouble at birth. Oh, okay. And these are some of our goats this year. Uh, there on the end we, we've got, a, I think it's Josie here on this end and and uh, Nanny's there in the middle with uh, all uh, Sonny and Cher and Jake and Elwood. That's great. Uh, Hansel and Gretel, uh, all the little goats. And you brought food, which we're yeah. seeing here on yeah. the screen. You brought us some kettle corn. Mm -hmm. And uh, we make that fresh there on the farm. I, I burn the heck out of them. That's one of the reasons I wear a hat. Making the kettle corn, I don't know how many times I've burnt the top of my head. With <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> like Michael Jackson. Yeah, I, I, then that's, it, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> there's not much up there. Uh, then we raise our mums. And, and, the, and the pumpkins, uh, the pie pumpkins, my sister makes fresh pumpkin pie oh. daily. Oh. Uh, so, that, so I brought these for you guys. Oh, well, thank you very it's, much. It's a crustless, because most kids, they really like the pumpkin pie, but the crust laser. So this is a, a crustless pumpkin pie and it's really quite good. And then you brought uh, some plants as well and I guess I, I'm, I'm sheltered. I've never seen the, you, you called it a... It's a mumpkin. A mumpkin. Yeah. Uh, that's something else my, my talented sister does. Uh, she hollows out a pie pumpkin and that, that is a pie pumpkin. That pumpkin there, if we wouldn't have made a mumpkin out of it, would, would have been one of these pies. And the, the uh, the flowers and, and the mums here come out of our greenhouse. The greenhouse is new this year. Uh, it's got kind of a new experience for us. We're, we're learning all about greenhouses. Let me ask you one question. You said that you know that you're, you want to be a typical farmer. T tell us what you think that is based upon what we well, got Well, right I now. grew up the son of a veterinarian, and, and I got to go through as a kid through every barn in Story County. It was just great. Yeah. It, it, we just loved it. And when I was there, were, Maisie the cow, they're, they're a little more uh, animated than, than Maisie our cow, <laughs> but, but every farmer had a, a few of every kind of livestock. They'd have maybe a couple horses, a few pigs, a few cows, and now uh, most of the farmers are, you know, they raise all lives, uh, all beef cattle or all hogs mm -hmm. or it's, uh, all row crop production, and you really don't see the the many anyway small farms that have a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So uh, you brought us a little bit of everything, and and also this weekend, in addition to this, we've got a performer to talk oh, about. We're going to send things over to Jackie. Yeah, Michael Oz, he's fantastic. Every every weekend we have a magician or a puppet show up in the barn and and this year we're featuring Michael Oz. He's been fantastic. That's right. We are going to feature Michael and some of his great tricks this morning. So Michael, you have me sitting over here. What are we going to be doing here? When I, when I was younger, actually, my grandfather, he gave me for Christmas this little this little box. It might be kind of weird that it's a little box, but inside here, can you take it out? Is it's, it going to bite me? It's OK. No, it's okay. nothing. Here inside right. of there, there's a little bag and also we have a little egg. Aww. Now, my grandfather, kind of was weird. I was wondering why he gave me an egg in a bag, right. but we're going to try something pretty cool. Here, um, we're going to place the bag inside Get an egg in there, of there. Here, right. can you tap it for me? Make sure it's really there. Yep, Here's what's there. going to happen. Watch, when you take it out like this, do you see that? Oh. That's when it completely, here, look, you can really see that that egg is completely gone from there. Here, but the cool part about it here, can you reach up? I want you to grab the invisible egg. Oh, okay. Here, throw it up, oh, oh. and we catch it right inside. Oh. 
of the little the little bag like that. How cool is that? <laughs> Here, we're gonna try it again. Watch okay. carefully. Watch the egg goes inside the bag. And Here, tap it. There you go, just like that. It will completely vanish. Yeah, here, no, feel. Make sure it's really not inside of there. Ah, okay, oh, okay. Watch out for that one. <laughs> yeah, I want you to hold your fingers out like this. Here, you're going to pinch right here. I want okay. you to take a quick look. Tell everybody what's inside the bag. Oh, is, there's an egg. Oh, there's right right there inside what? the bag is the <laughs> egg. Give her a big round of applause. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Good work. Now, besides that, also at the farm, there's a couple different things. We have all kinds of stuff at the farm. For example, we have... There's kids that can come and they have a jumping pillow. There's oh, okay. lots of fun with that. There's all kinds of things to do, but my favorite personal thing is the animals. There's goats and cows and all kinds of stuff. And with me, I have one of my very favorite animals. Bubbles what? the bird. What the? Yeah. Uh, where did that come from? <laughs> Bubbles. Well, hi, Bubbles. <laughs> yeah, Bubbles is a highly trained professional magic bird. He helps me in all of my oh, shows. Hi, Bubbles. Here, I'll show you a cool trick with him. I've actually been able to hypnotize Bubbles. Watch carefully. Oh. Here we go, sleep. Just like that. Oh, bubbles. yeah. It's okay. He comes back though. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Here, the also cool thing about him is he gives high fives. If you say bubbles high five. All right, bubbles high five. Boop boop. <laughs> Here, in case you're missing it, here, hold out your hand. Say right. bubbles high five. Bubbles high five. Boop boop. And that is bubbles the bird. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh. All right, so Michael, you're one of the great things we can see if we head out to the pumpkin patch, right? Yeah, I'm one of the great things. I'm really fortunate to be out here. So if we have time for one more trip, yeah, we do let's one do more? one more. Should we do one last one? Yes. Here, Jackie, could you come in and help me with me? Oh, okay. Here we go. Now, I want you to make sure we have a little table here. And have you ever heard of invisible flight? Invisible flight. Invisible no. flight. You've never heard of it? No. Here, I want you to wave your hands above. Make sure there's no strings attached. Okay, we no haven't strings. set anything up. Nope. Here, I want you to check below. Here, you stand over on that side. Make sure there's nothing below. Nope. Perfectly. Here, here's what I want you Normal to do. Table. I want you to hold right here. Okay. Now, Jackie, I want you to focus. Serge, how about let's hold the corners? The corners? Okay. Sweet. I want you to focus all of your energy on the little box right there. All right. Here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, let's see if we can get some magic to happen. Here we go. Ready? All right. One, two, three. <laughs> That's sometimes, about the kind of magic I can do. That's yeah. about a whole lot of nothing. Sometimes the sure. magic takes a while. Here we go. Okay, Try this again. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Uh, Here, Jackie, I want you to make sure there's nothing attached above or below. Here, nope. wave your hands above, nothing, too. Nothing. Here, look, we can even show the audience there's nothing attached. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it flies away. Here, Jackie, can you come here and grab the corners for me? Okay. <laughs> here, Jack, we'll just let it float back down. Ah, and all right. That was a pretty cool We're trick. Thank you for helping. High five. From yeah. Yeah. Table. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, guys. So many great things going on. You just got to check this out. Uncle Bill's Farm, and where can people find out more information? Uh, UncleBillsFarm.com. We are also, uh, if you look under Facebook, search under Uncle Bill's Farm Iowa. And right after when November rolls around, uh, you might want to check out Santa Claus, Iowa, because I, I happen to know the man. <laughs> I have a feeling you do. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank Thanks so for, the, uh, for the for the treats and yeah, uh, welcome. Look forward to seeing you on the farm. I sure appreciate the the opportunity to be here. We'll be back with more right here on.